back to the sports check of course our last segment of this particular the last part of the interviews and what an interesting uh, topic that we have in our hands here than the talk about the AFCON 2023 that's happening in Ivory Coast of course uh, from um, countries uh, participating 24 teams taking part uh, spread across uh, five cities Korogo, Boake as well as uh, Abijo, San Pedro and where else have I pogo, uh, forgotten but Karibuni Sana yes, yeah yes. Gregory Mulemi uh, regular here you know, great to have you. And also okay. be having uh, Michael Barnabi for the first time on set. Karibuni sana, you know. Right, yeah. And maybe we can just begin by asking after opening games on Saturday and yesterday, have your expectations changed? Um, technically, no. Mm -hmm. Because you look at the last three editions of the Africa Cup of Nations. Mm -hmm. um, most of the people have gone by supporting uh, the, uh, the teams, or the, the countries that uh, had dominated uh, previous, previous editions. Edi previous editions. Yes. But you find that it's quite different because uh, most of these, uh, the so-called small countries have risen in the recent past and mm -hmm. uh, they've shown that they are able, able and capable of contesting toe-to-toe mm -hmm. -to -toe with everyone who mm -hmm. comes on board. Look mm -hmm. at uh, mm -hmm. the likes of Equatorial Guinea. You're mm -hmm. talking about Cape Verde. Mm -hmm. You forget that uh, they've been consistent on this uh, this stage, mm -hmm. in this stage rather, mm -hmm. for quite a while, and it's mm -hmm. happening. No, 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 no big favorites in this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and M Michael, maybe just to uh, you know pick uh, Greg's mind here. Uh, the small teams, you know, uh, that have really uh, made their case, yeah. right, in this particular championship. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking it's because they've been consistent, you know, and maybe I can pick on Cape Verde. They've been there f the last four editions yeah. consecutively, you know, and this the same team, you know. So it's consistency that has taken them there. But what's your, your, what, what have you observed? Well, well Bernard, you know, um, these teams, the so-called small teams, mm -hmm. they, they do understand uh, that we are competing against the experienced, mm -hmm. the big, you know, the, the lions in mm -hmm. these competitions. Mm -hmm. And so we have to give uh, everything that we have. We mm -hmm. have to fight for the badge, mm -hmm. for, for, for our, our flag. Mm -hmm. So that's why you see this competition is actually heated. You know, the first two days, mm -hmm. and you already have uh, 15 yellow cards to mm -hmm. be specific mm -hmm. and more than 10 goals. Mm -hmm. This is something Yesterday that alone, were alone, nine goals actually. Uh, Right? You can yes. imagine. Mm -hmm. You can imagine, and so they do understand. And, and if if you've observed, actually, these small uh, countries, they were the ones actually, you know, to score. Look at Mozambique. Look, mm -hmm. look at mm -hmm. uh, look at um, Cape Verde. Mm -hmm. um, and and again, something that was. Um, uh, also highlighted yesterday was was about the big names, the the likes of Osim Hen, um, the likes of um, uh, Mohamed Salah. Mm -hmm. They. I mentioned and, and they, they really actually announced themselves that we are here. We mm -hmm. are the big names. Mm -hmm. They scored. Mm -hmm. um, and I think uh, it's, it's what we call Kuponea mm -hmm. for the likes of uh, <laughs> Egypt. Mm -hmm. Penalty yeah. kicks. And you know, what, one thing I realized is that uh, these big countries like mm -hmm. uh, Ghana, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Equatorial Guinea, yes. Nigeria, mm -hmm. uh, Egypt, mm -hmm. they had to react. Mm -hmm. Sure to this, uh, the so-called small... Mm -hmm. uh, come from behind. Come from behind. They mm -hmm. had to react. Mm -hmm. Look, look at uh, the game between Mozambique and, uh, and Egypt. Mm -hmm. uh, the Mambas hadn't... Uh, w were just this close, I think 90 seconds, yeah. from so, so, earning so, their so, first so ever. For, first I ever think they, they don't like yeah. the Kenyan VR official. <laughs> <laughs> Peter come out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah but, 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 but then I, I look at that defender, he wasn't... Uh, but, but look, I mean, um, looking at the replays, he was yes. the one who was hit. Yes, um, but um, in my opinion, I feel that the defender maybe wanted just to make sure that he clears the ball, mm -hmm. make sure that everything... He was thinking about the celebrations mm -hmm. at that time because it was the 97th minute, mm -hmm. and uh, it being the last minute, mm -hmm. I'm sure he was already thinking about the final whistle. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, in that commotion, you find mm -hmm. that uh, it was a, a very close decision, mm -hmm. in my opinion, mm -hmm. and... Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if it was a penalty or not. Yeah. But credit also. <laughs> same, same thing, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, credit to Salah. Uh -huh. uh, the Nerves. Yeah. Sure. 100 minutes on the clock. Uh -huh. You look at the goalkeeper who was already laughing and clapping at himself. Yeah. Uh, psyching himself before uh, making a decision. Mock, whether, to yeah, mock the penalty to mock taker. The penalty taker. Yeah. And that, uh, for Salah, it shows you that uh, in such situations you need uh, nerves or steel. Mm -hmm. sure. But yeah. he had had a quiet game, right? Michael. Yeah, sure. He, he was not um, live. 
during the, the, the match. But again, it, that, that's what um, uh, confirms uh, he's, uh, he's, a big, uh, he's a big name. Mm -hmm. Once he's needed, he steps up, he mm -hmm. takes it, and mm -hmm. uh, we saw it. Mm -hmm. And I think, again, Bernard, something to note, uh, mistakes can we no lose. Uh, we are no longer the African matches that we, 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 we've, we, we used to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we've upgraded. Mm -hmm. If you looked yeah. at even the opener, Cote mm -hmm. d'Ivoire, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, someone, I had someone mm -hmm. talking beautiful about... from Fofana? Beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. But and, what a uh, save also from the keeper. Yo. <laughs> Names will yeah. be made yeah. during this competition. Mm -hmm. yeah. And actually the world of football is watching. Coaches mm -hmm. are watching mm -hmm. because we will have many, many uh, young players, young stars, new stars, mm -hmm. you know, uh, being transferred uh, all over uh, Europe and, mm -hmm. and other countries. Yeah, and, and talking about the youngsters, we also saw one in the uh, Ivory, Ivory Coast team, the Konate. Yeah, exactly. right? Konate yeah, you know, exactly. what, what are some of the names that we're looking at to spy, to, to spy in this edition um looking at uh, uh especially homegrown players yes, yes, there's yes. the 17 year old in the cameroon squad that will be playing later. Real, they really get the chance they really the team, get right? the chance mm -hmm. i saw also another youngster in uh, in the mozambique team mm -hmm. uh, the, the boy really played well though he considered a late uh, late late mm -hmm. uh, foul, foul inside mm -hmm. the, uh, the, uh, the the danger area but you look at the way this this transition mm -hmm. you know long long time ago we could uh, see t uh, teams carry even uh, 40 year olds mm. uh, Players, the presidents ordering yeah. the forty hours being cleared, yeah. 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 Anyway. just to reward uh, them yeah. over their past glories yeah. or something like that. It's but not, it's, it's, it's it wasn't about football, competition. Right? Yeah, it yeah. wasn't about competition. But right now mm -hmm. you're there on merit, and mm -hmm. it's something that really makes our game uh, also uh, progress. Progress. Yes. And uh, just before I hand over to Mike, mm -hmm. there's something that I've noticed that. Uh, Right now, uh, many countries, mm -hmm. uh, especially uh, the, the, the North African countries, mm -hmm. are trusting their homegrown players, y yes. and even South Africa. Mm -hmm. And it's something that uh, shows you that mm -hmm. maybe there's something good happening. Mm -hmm. uh, with the local leagues mm -hmm. uh, in their respective countries, mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. the, the the issue of hosting the the, the, the under the, the under the, the under age group age competitions. Age group competitions yes. You find that most players are graduating from there, and we see them progressing into the senior teams. Yes, and it's there something is, that really yeah. there is a clear path for teams mm -hmm. now. Exactly. Mm -hmm. In Kenya, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not, co not comparison, but <laughs> we, are, yeah. we are closer to seeing that, right? We, we saw what happened yes. in, in, in Kisumu. Kisumu. Yes, mm -hmm. I mean that is, uh, and also the the the, the the, the sound bites exactly. from, from the authorities, exactly. right? That we want to maintain this team. Exactly. That's so encouraging. Mm -hmm. Yes, you saw how uh, yeah. you saw how fans, you know, uh, stepped up and, and said, they love the young. Let's go support yeah. this young For, yes, yes. Uh, and, and and again, um, you know, supporting what he's saying. Mm -hmm. um, Time has come that the coaches have realized that mm -hmm. some of the big names are mm -hmm. aging out. Mm -hmm. Look at uh, the likes of Jordan Ayu, uh, mm -hmm. they are used. They, they are eighth, I think. They are eighth Africa Cup of Actually, Nations. Actually, so they who, feel who, like who we need new blood. Yeah, talking about that, who, Ghana missed Kudus badly. Badly, because uh, you look at his performances at West Ham, mm. then... Uh, all of a sudden is not in the in squad. The, yeah. 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 Need on the bench. Yeah, with the what, niggling yeah. hamstring. You know, yeah. a hamstring is a, it's, it's a huge gamble. He has yeah. To, yeah. yeah. So he has to rest. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I feel that Ghana, to me, is quite a disappointment. Mm -hmm. They have a pedigree manager in Chris Hutton, someone mm -hmm. who's uh, won accolades uh, yeah, the across the globe. Balls, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At Brighton, he did mm -hmm. wonders, mm -hmm. bringing them from the championships to the Premier yeah, League. The Premier League and yes. that shows you that they need to be performing according to how their nation expect uh, expect i was talking to mustafi nabila mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. journalist in you in ghana mm -hmm. and he was like man chill you know uh <laughs> argentina started like this actually even yeah. egypt began their yeah. campaign yeah. Uh, the 2021 yeah. they also began by losing sure. but they went on to the final yeah. but ghana began the same way 2021 and but the problem is ended up with the commission of the, inquiry being the, formed, the right? problem <laughs> is in 2021 <laughs> yes they performed this money very mm. yeah. poorly mm. yes and right now they're just replicating what they did uh the ghosts cannot yeah. leave them. And you see, it's a problem of having uh, star names mm -hmm. to and not a stars. team. Yeah. 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 I, saw, I saw a couple of uh, bri uh, uh, like individual brilliance. I mm -hmm. think that's what will win, the, will win them the game, you know. The player who scored the disallowed goal in the first half, you know. But, but again, but again mm -hmm. Bernard, mm -hmm. personal brilliance, yes. Mm -hmm. But wh where is the teamwork? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's, football is all about 
decisions. Mm -hmm. It's about passing. We it's, saw Jiku the, 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 the right yeah. back. Jiku doing Jiku a lot of the, the goal doing, score as well. Yeah. Outstanding in that yeah. particular. I think he's a modern ty type of uh, wing back uh, uh -huh. who uh -huh. offers more in uh -huh. attack as much as he's off he offers in, in defensive nice. duties. Uh -huh. And that is something that you also need in a team. You see, football now has evolved. Uh -huh. sure. We know we used to have uh, those playmakers, guys who, okay, the star people yeah, coming yeah, into like the tournament. Role. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like right now, if you ask me star players in the tournament, maybe Africa player of the year, Osimen, and mm -hmm. uh, maybe talk about Mo Salah because mm -hmm. of what is done for mm -hmm. Liverpool mm -hmm. and also country losing back-to-back mm -hmm. -back finals. Mm -hmm. But you look at other countries, like everyone is on the same level. Mm -hmm. And this is the stage yeah. to create and make a name. Yes, yeah. and this is the stage where you have to equalize all the differences, yeah. whether you yeah. have 20 stadiums, a perfect youth age exactly. group system or not. But also something that we noticed, that we talked about it before we got here, mm -hmm. about how this, uh, how Mozambique played, you know, and uh, also Cape Verde, how they played. They looked more dangerous when they were going forward you know yeah and um, what are they doing yes yes I'll, 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 uh, maybe i'll pick on mozambique i'll pick on cape Verde. yes cape Verde, uh, featuring in their fourth consecutive cup of nations mm -hmm. and with the same team with the same team if the goalkeeper actually the 37 yeah. year old Z yes zinia zinia yes and look at the goal scorers mm -hmm. one is 33 years and the other one is 30 years mm -hmm. that shows you there's a lot of there is cohesion in the team there's synergy there's understanding mm -hmm. and that shows you that these are people who knew when we are going here mm -hmm. we are on a mission mm -hmm. whatever we did yesterday mm -hmm. has to continue mm -hmm. and you see they reached the round of 16 last mm -hmm. time out yes and they i'm sure they are uh, facing out this squad yes and they want to leave a mark yes um M michael i uh, know uh, the opening games of course we've seen a couple of uh, past winners also doing so well but you can talk about ivory coast and nigeria and their performances how what kind of um, momentum do they create in this particular championship? Well, not, uh, this, it, it, it's it's uh, not a lie that uh, every first match, it's like kickoff in maybe Europe, European mm -hmm. football. Mm -hmm. First match always has, you know, it, it's, it's a disappointment. Mm -hmm. And I cannot say the Ivory Coast or Ghana, yeah. or they, they won't Nigeria, do well. Yeah, yeah, Nigeria, yeah, sure, they sure. won't do well. Mm -hmm. I think they are learning their lessons. Mm -hmm. um, having but it's in a mind tournament, that, not it, so for it, so long. For sure it's a tournament. Mm -hmm. I, I, I really think that even after yesterday's match, uh, the Nigerians uh, match, mm -hmm. the coach was able to sit down with the Osman and you know uh, tell him, my friend, all these chances that you are wasting, African are the ones that the will, will, will give us uh, the, the early ticket back home because <laughs> this is an understandable. Yeah. I mean, the I mean, parliament will be waiting for you. You yeah. cannot. <laughs> uh, a player of, of your caliber, mm. lose such chances, and this is what we are talking about the likes of Mozambique, uh -huh. they know uh -huh. that every chance we create, we uh -huh. have to utilize yeah, it. Yes. We have to maximize yes. on yeah. every second we yeah. have. Yes. So it, that's the difference. Mm -hmm. um, Greg, your, 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 your views, but you can tie the views to today's matches, defending champions, beginning their quest today against Gambia, Senegal. Yes. Um, first of all, uh, for, uh, for the benefit of the listener, Gambia also coming in Nairobi this this year. Yes, in May actually we're playing the the two the we're only two matches we're playing this year, yes. right? Yeah, the yeah. World Cup qualifiers. Yeah, Musa and we saw Ivory Coast on the opening day. Someone was asking, "Is this the Ivory Coast we're gonna meet <laughs> <laughs> in, in, in June?" I was like, "Yeah, football changes overnight." Yes. But um, uh -huh. I'm looking at today's fixtures, uh, very tricky uh, fixtures. I start mm -hmm. with Senegal mm -hmm. versus mm -hmm. Gambia. These mm -hmm. are games that uh, these are neighbors, mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, they are no clear favorites mm -hmm. here. As much as uh, Senegal are the defending champions. Yes. They have a pedigree squad. Mm -hmm. Most players have also graduated from the junior ranks, as yes, we spoke earlier. Yeah. The coach uh, that has been there with he's them. He's been there. Ali mm -hmm. mm -hmm. won the tournament both as coach and, mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. no, not, not really as coach and player, but has mm -hmm. managed to ma transition a squad that was under, under, uh, underperforming mm -hmm. into this title. Uh, title, All yeah. And continent continent conquering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this, this, this is a game I, I think I'll favor Senegal to take it, but it will be on slim margins. Yes. And then I look at the last match, mm -hmm. Algeria taking on Angola. Yes. Personally, I like Angola uh -huh. because uh, the yeah. Pantera Negras uh -huh. they always play as a team you remember they had stars like Manucho Flavio yeah. but right now they have a younger squad that uh, most of them are playing at home Pedro mm -hmm. Atletico de Luanda mm -hmm. yes. and uh, of course uh, they, they, they played in the, cha in the CAF Champions League CAF Confederations yeah. Cup this means yeah. that they're bringing a squad mostly of home based players mm -hmm. and home based players bring that uh, togetherness yeah. and a lot of energy and they play look at one, the yes. way they play the, the qualifiers yes. Yes. the qualifiers and how they've been performing uh, the build up towards this tournament they are really really good 
of so watch out Algeria might not find it very easy. Yes, indeed. Views from uh, uh, Gregory, and that must have represented you, Michael, because of the time. Because definitely, of the time, definitely. right? <laughs> we will not be able to have your I views, accept. but thank you so I much you know, uh, for creating time and coming to Sports Check this lovely Monday. Of course, we've been talking about Africa Cup of Nations. Also, remember that the action is live on KBC Channel 1 today. There will be three matches. Uh, the first one, of course, kicking off at 5 p.m. Senegal against Gambia. And of course, I'll be here with uh, my colleagues uh, to give you the details, the nitty gritties of the game, where should the UCC do, and the rest of uh, the details. So Cameroon and Guinea also coming up at 8, and then the last one, Algeria 2019 winners. They're also searching for their second, th third title, right? Yeah. Anyway, it will be about whether they can get it or not. That will be decided after 90 minutes. So thank you so much for watching Sports Check this lovely morning. Thank you so much, uh, Michael Barnabe and uh, Gregory Mulemi, as always, right? Thank you. thank you so much, and have the uh, lovely viewing of the rest of Channel 1 programs. I'm Bernardo Kumu.